Rung Simple Beginnings Once upon a time in Thailand, there was a girl named Rung who grew up in a small Thai village. She was the daughter of a struggling restaurant owner. The restaurant was modest, with wooden tables and a thatch roof. Surrounded by lush greenery, Rung helped her parents while harboring dreams of leaving the village and building a better life. She spent her days with her childhood boyfriend, a kind and hard-working young man who had always been the rich boyfriend. As Rung matures, she attracts the attention of a wealthy but irresponsible young man from the city. He is charming, dressed in expensive clothes and offers Rung a glimpse into the glamorous life she has always dreamed of. However, his lack of responsibility and shallow character begin to clash with Rung's inner values. Despite her misgivings, Rung continues to date him, torn between her aspirations for wealth and the stability of her poor childhood love, a life-changing offer. One day, a wealthy older man from Bangkok visits the restaurant and sees potential in Rung. He offers to sponsor her to study in New York, with one condition. She must marry his autistic son. Driven by ambition and the desire to escape her small town life, Rung accepts the offer. She leaves her childhood boyfriend behind, who watches with a heavy heart as she steps into a world that promises wealth but demands great sacrifice. Promises wealth but demands great sacrifice. The New York struggle. In New York, Rung works tirelessly to become a doctor. She focuses on her studies while navigating the complexities of living in a foreign city. Despite the financial support she receives, Rung feels isolated because she is obligated to marry the wealthy man's son. The weight of this arrangement burdens her, but she is determined to succeed and pay off her debt. In New York, Rung meets a Chinese man who is kind, caring, and everything she desires emotionally. They fall deeply in love, and for a brief time, Rung feels she has found the happiness she was searching for. However, her dreams are shattered when she learns that, despite his loving nature, he is poor just like her childhood. But returning home, Rung returns to Thailand, heartbroken and exhausted from her time in New York. She has paid off her debt to the wealthy man, and is free from the obligation to marry his son. However, the pain of lost love weighs heavily on her she returns to her village. Her family well after returning home, Rung catches the eye of the Deputy Prime Minister of Thailand, a much older man with significant political influence. He is captivated by Rung's beauty and intelligence and offers her the chance to marry him. Despite the age difference, Rung agrees to marry him believing that this marriage would provide her with the wealth and status she has always dreamed of. A grand wedding. Rung and the deputy prime minister have a lavish wedding, filled with luxury and opulence. The event is attended by politicians, celebrities, and the wealthy elite. For a brief moment, Rung feels that she has finally achieved the life she always wanted surrounded by wealth, power, and prestige. However, deep down, she still feels an emptiness, as the true love she yearns for remains elusive to fall of power. Not long after the wedding, the deputy prime minister's political career takes a turn for the worse. His policies fail, and he is forced to flee the country amid political turmoil. Rung is left behind, abandoned and stripped of the wealth and status she had hoped to gain. She is now alone, faced with the harsh reality of her juices. After her husband leaves, Rung suffers a debilitating stroke that leaves her in a wheelchair. She is forced to confront the consequences of her decisions as she is stripped of her physical mobility and former beauty. The life she had worked so hard to build has crumbled, and she is now dependent on others for care. As Rung sits in her wheelchair, gazing out at the horizon, she reflects on her life. The dreams of wealth and success that once fueled her ambition now feel distant and hollow. She realizes that true happiness was always within her reach, but that she let it slip away. In a moment of deep introspection, she mutters, I am a rainbow, 
a lost rainbow, symbolizing the fleeting nature of her dreams and the love she once had but lost. Oh friend, now a man returns to take care of her. Despite her rejection of him years ago, he remains loyal and kind, caring for her with the same devotion he showed in their youth. Rung, overwhelmed by his selflessness, begins to reflect on the choices she made and the love she had forsaken in pursuit of wealth.